I'll finish the whole thing in four statement. <laughs> the whole science of reincarnation, you will understand. Please understand. All of us are avatars. All of us are avatars. When you created this body, out of which Sanjita you picked up your prarapta. All of you understand what I am saying? Sanjita means all the karmas. Like a, uh, from the fish, tortoise. Understand the science of how the body gets developed. How the I thought I'll finish in four statements. That is what got landed at that time. Now it is landing. That waiting clock is there. All of us are avatars. From which bodies we pick up our prarapta decides whether we are going to remember that we are avatar and play the role as avatar or get caught and play the role of a bound soul. Understand? From the fish, for example, when fish sees tortoise, it thinks, oh God, this fellow has some better body. He can go to air also, ground also. Then immediately that gets recorded into the fish. Fish dies. It has all the cards in front of it. All the samskaras which it grasped, it sees. Sometime a fish will have a tortoise, crocodile, human being, all the cards. Now, it will try to naturally pick up the best card which it can do. Please understand. So when a fish takes a jump, it can take only the jump of tortoise or crocodile. It cannot directly take the jump of human being. Even when it takes the jump of crocodile, it will be a dumb crocodile. It has to compromise. It will be dumb, very dumb. That is why so many dumb human beings you find. That fellow has taken a big jump. Big jump, which he really can't handle, and he is struggling, and he is struggling. Big jump. Please understand. So this is the way you take jumps. The jumps are taken. So in the human body, after a few times, when you live, the whole thing consciously knowing why you are living, what you are living. Why you are living, what you are living. Why you are doing, what you are doing. Please understand, many times, you create wealth without enjoying it. You do many things which does not directly bring any joy to you. Your definition of joy is not clear. So, when you don't live like that, when you live a conscious life, this kind of problems will not be there. That conscious life, please understand, this is a very clear, very important truth. That conscious life, that conscious clarity, give you the choice to pick up your prarapta. Please understand, if you are not conscious, you will not have choice to pick up your prarapta from many lives. What is past, if your past life is buffalo, you have the choice of only buffalo samskara. If you are unconsciously lived, if you are consciously lived, all the 50, 60 lives which you lived, tortoise, buffalo, uh, pig, man, beggar, whatever you lived, all that you can pick up. You can pick up the best things of all that. Please understand, when you pick up best samskaras, of all your past 
and create your body land in the body you are avatar you are avatar purush i am not adding any mystery i am straight away breaking the whole thing the qualities which you pick up their memory also will land with you not just the quality the memory also please understand all qualities are related to memory all qualities are related to memory guna is connected to mana please understand all memory all quality is related to memory what is quality if you have the habit of giving 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 it's a quality of dharma but it will always be related to few incidents so when you pick up the quality you will remember few memories also whatever qualities i picked up the incidents related to that only i'll be able to know all of you understand exactly what i am talking you understand an incarnation should be able to perform all the five job creation maintenance destruction the putting in the maya and liberating all five the fifth one the liberating only when that starts expressing you will know all the five starts expressing in you on the fifth one if the liberation process is done that's enough all the five powers are expressing it it means the fifth one will express only if all the four one is crossed but the avatar means clearly remembering consciously picking up all the best qualities qualities of your past incarnations assuming the body and radiating that qualities is avatar purusha is a avatar purusha i think uh, all of you are also avatars but you picked up the memory from wrong sources you thought eating like buffalo is the best life and sleeping is the best thing so you picked up all that from them actually when you sleep when you eat you can see qualities of many animals many animals there in your sex in your eating in your sleeping many of your natural activities when you are angry when you are depressed you will see many qualities of the animals many qualities of the animals the only thing you did not pick up consciously and after picking up you did not take birth consciously it's like a low frequency decision low frequency decision many time you decide without knowing the side effect and after effect without having the courage to go through the side effect and after effect that is where the problem is deciding knowing the side effect and after effect and having the courage to go through the side effects and after effects which you may not know till you go through understand they don't think what will be the after that my side effect what will be the side effect and after effects of this decision on my life they just jump in the fantasy you should have two thing one your intellect should be stretched to its limit extreme of what all can happen second thing having courage even if something happens beyond this intellect's reach i am ready to go through then you are incarnation if you want to become incarnation you need only two thing just stretch your brain to the extreme of all the decisions you make the side effect and after effect for example if you are sitting here fan may suddenly drop on your head what will be the side effect and after effect whatever you can imagine stretch on the side effect and after effect first thing second thing yes when you stretch you will understand you can't stretch more than a limit i am ready to go through which i can't stretch you are an avatar that's all 
you are an avatara purusha please understand completely then you can take notes understand just this much only stretch all the side effects and after effects of your decisions each decision stretch and be very clear you are doing it you are responsible for it the moment you get into the road accident cannot give you any suffering because you took the possibility road is the place where the accident can happen knowing that you got into the road because you want to go to some place which is more important and desirous than this risk am i right stretch to the extreme you will be incarnation by tomorrow morning stretch this extreme wherever the sufferings are expected sufferings are um, what to say that prophesized not only suffering joy or anything anything prophesized stretch hmm? to the peak stretch and be very clear you are responsible for that because it's just the ordinary this road incident take it you know going to rameshwaram is very funny you really want to do so you are ready to take the risk of getting into the road so if suddenly death comes on the way you should not blame death you know the possibility that's why you took so stretch all the decisions you made in your life so there will not be any suffering then the peak icing on the cake is i will have now i know i can't stretch more than certain limit so i am ready to go through which i can't stretch that's all you are an incarnation all the extremes can happen because of your decision it can be even good or bad you see you can say that gold medal is the moment you enter the college the possibility of a gold medal is there is there so don't be elated it's a possibility the moment you enter the road possibility of death is there don't suffer it's a possibility you you know that's how you got into the moment you have the body the possibility of disease is there don't suffer it's a possibility knowing that you landed knowing that you took the body step by step step by step step by step all the major decisions understand i am not just teaching avatar concept i am making you as avatar with this stretch with this courage one night sleep is enough next day morning when you get up from the bed understand every day you go back to castle body castle body is the place where all the engraved memories are available to you it's like a, in your garage you have tennis ball golf all the things needed for golf everything needed for volleyball everything needed for cricket everything is there when you go out of your garage what you want to play you will pick up that set and go out every night you fall into your garage where all the memories are available when you wake up from the body from the castle body when you come to the physical body what game you want to play you bring that memory out all of you understand just that memory out so tonight decide consciously tomorrow morning when i come back i'll come back to live as avatara purusha to live as conscious incarnation just this idea is enough tomorrow morning when you get up whatever is needed for that you will pick up that bag and come out every night no no don't every night means again the problem no tonight tonight so now whole day stretch your brain all the possibilities all the possibilities of the samskaras which you picked up and brought i think all of you understand what i am saying i think the science of incarnation is described 
and the solution to become an incarnation is available very clearly very clearly and very practically i am not saying something impractical stretch whatever you can stretch actually when you stretch your manipuraga only will open manipuraga is a worrying part it will open like a ironing when you for example if you just tie 10 sarees on corner make a knot and each saree you separately pull an iron how it will feel you understand what i am saying it will feel like a lotus opening that's the way your manipuraga will feel now see when this is the reason you see what i am this is the see all the decisions you made is your being this not is swadishtana and each thing coming out is your manipuraga this is the decisions you made to have human body now you cannot curse the old age which is coming or the death which is coming or the things of the human civilization because you are responsible so now this is not clear for you it's all completely confused take out this one logic decision of taking human body stretch it put that and analyze one by one all the sufferings related all the side effects related iron it iron it iron it iron it you can't blame anybody you can't abuse you can't suffer you are responsible iron it till the end then decided to take male body and many plus points you have they don't have so you can't take it out and iron 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 you are you are responsible for it so there can't be any suffering there can't be any suffering stretch it then take the decision of entering into the road for example yesterday i was telling that uh, yesterday rameshwaram trip is responsible for entering into the road so iron iron the best thing can happen the worst thing can happen i am responsible i neither need to feel elated nor need to feel the suffering stretch suddenly you will see the manipuraga will open then after that this not this swadishtana now stand up whatever i can't stretch there is many things i can't stretch beyond my logic i'll stand to go through it as i am an individual consciousness i'll stand to go through it that's all see the whole thing i made it very straight and simple with this consciousness sleep tonight tomorrow morning decide, tonight itself decide when i come out i will come out as an incarnation and bring whatever kit i needed to be an incarnation to play that role you understand what i am saying i think many zigzag puzzles will fall in place the questions about reincarnation questions about life and death questions about actually i finished the whole thing i finished practically the whole thing there is no no stone unturned in the truth of avatar purusha this is the way avatars land and planet earth there is no such thing on, at one time only one avatar can be there no maybe the qualities can be extraordinary for one avatar that does not mean only one avatar should be there on the planet earth any number can be there because if you see the venkateshwara's life varaha avatara was there in the planet earth when venkateshwara was there in the planet earth and if you know the venkateshwara purana varaha is the elder brother he was there the tirupati belongs to him when venkateshwara came he donated the tirupati to him that is why the first puja for varaha swami Uh, rama and parasurama coexisted why even uh, krishna and balram coexisted both of them are incarnations and just drive this one uh, idea let me pick up all the best qualities available in my sanchita and come out when you come out you will be incarnation you will be an enlightened enlightenment incarnation are not two separate separate packages if you are maybe you can become enlightened and not become incarnation 
but if you are trying to become incarnation you, you will become enlightened it's a after effect hmm? i think you understand if we are reborn most likely we will come back with all the knowledge you gave us is it right arunamani yes this you will never miss because it's such a valuable knowledge it will be used when you take decision itself because you take that when you take the decision it is useful you will see this is the main thing needed you will bring it in hand carry you will not even put it in the luggage usually the spiritual knowledge you will bring it in the hand carry very important very precious you will not put it in the luggage who knows where it will get lost and moreover it will be very handy and you will be making the decision of landing and everything with this awareness only actually you will be just like a sitting and discussing with me when you take swamiji all these things are there what should we do what can we do what will be the best thing and you land your sadhishtana should flower that area should look very pretty and red soft physically that much of clarity should happen see now that swadhishtana area will be always tight when you relax you will be relaxed so much it will become rose like a soft rose and completely relaxed blissful when with this responsibility if you fall asleep you will not be able to fall asleep you will fall into a deep consciousness today if you do this stretching work ironing work and fall asleep it will not be asleep see you fall asleep when you can't think any more properly and when you are tired you just dump and fall asleep when you are stretched ironed you will not fall asleep you will just smoothly get down like a, how you get down through ladder into a well see if there is no ladder you say come on nothing can be done you tie your eyes and jump that is sleeping and if there is a ladder you step by step step by step step by step you slowly get down and sit you understand it seems so simple it is it can be transmitted it can be transmitted but the problem is the person who is transmitting also should have been little evolved and experienced otherwise when the people ask question he will not have answer he can give lecture like einstein's driver can speak elaborately on e equal to mc square but he can't answer questions you know that einstein was continuously giving lecture once he was very tired the driver said don't bother i heard 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 100 times i heard i can repeat where bad team this guy got into the stage with a dress einstein's dress nobody knows einstein in that crowd he was new to that uh, uh, place that part of the country he gave a uh, driver gave a complete discourse amazing people asked questions driver said uh, these small questions my driver can answer i don't need i uh, he called driver come and answer <laughs> <laughs> Einstein came and answered. There is no need to be interactive base. I can say that uh, uh, when you practice, you may have some questions. Some more clarity needs to be shown on that. That's all. Now, when I said, when you start living it, doing it, you will have questions. So I need to stretch those parts and help you. that the fellows others may not be able to do that's all what happens sanjita of those that attain moksha does it dissolve or is available to others no no it just dissolves it will not be there that is why when one person becomes enlightened so much of bubara is reduced the heaviness of the planet earth is reduced um and uh, the other question i had is the choices i make does it always affect me and only me or does it ever have no no whoever way? whoever you, you affect also they also accept that they are ready to be affected by you 
but that is their process to go through their process to go through my because process is mine see if even if you are damaging them they took the responsibility yes she may damage me she may help me she may love me i am ready for everything that's why they took it's they have to go through you are not responsible so where does the question of karma come because you know they say that you know, you would also mention if suffering happens because of a certain incident that uh, you were a part see, of you are directly creating suffering for that person you are responsible when you are going through your process if that person feels suffering he is responsible for example because you are wearing the mala if the, somebody suffers nothing can be done 